Hey guys, just a quick one today. Uh, welcome to the club, I should say. Um, so, got a cool deck constructed for once, historic, and I got trashed by this deck, and so I really wanted to play it, which is a common thing for me. Uh, the deck's really interesting, so it's built around Geist of St. Traft, which is a hexproof 2 2 that makes a 4 4 angel when it attacks. The angel goes away at the end of turn and fragment reality so we exile a non-token permanent and its controller puts a random creature from their deck into play tapped it has to cost less so we've got all these ley lines you probably know what a ley line is it's four mana but if you have it in your opening hand you can put it into play for free so we want in our opening hand we don't need the Geist, we want at least one Ley Line and we want at least one Fragment Reality and hopefully that's going to get us a turn one Geist that's just going to end the game very quickly. Um, we've also got a load of ways to give it flying and protect it, make it bigger. And the deck has 16 lands and I think you get the idea, let's take it into a ranked queue and see if we can get some wins. Really cool deck, I'm really excited to play it. Calling it a Geist Leyline combo. But yeah, I just lost to this deck the other day and I was like, damn, that's cool. So I wanted to give it a try. I like these unfair decks that do busted things on turn one. I like other types of decks too, but I was a big uh, Tybalt's Trickery fan. I like playing like channel decks when they. Um, do the no ban list events unfortunately channel has been banned again now even in the un <laughs> even in the no ban list events channel is banned now okie dokie so we've got a ley line but we do not have a I forget the name of the spell but the way to get our creature so that's going to be a mulligan If we had, uh, I need to remember the name of the card. Um, okay, we can't keep this either. Uh, we cannot keep this either. Okay, we have Fragment Reality and Ley Line, so that's a great keep. So I think I'm going to keep the Ley Line of Sanctity. don't really need ethereal armor although maybe I do keep this over a land yeah let's do that okay so nice four card hand but we have the turn one geist that we're looking for okay there's another geist in our deck luckily I guess I'll just do this now while they don't have any counter spells. Okay, turn one Geist achieved. Um, let's give it flying. Oh, we're up against the Gates deck. That could be bad actually. Okay, I've got slip out the back, which is real nice. So I'm going to hold up slip out the back because they could have a gates ablaze. Opponents down to six, they're dead next turn. <laughs> okay, show us the gates ablaze opponent. Nice. Slip out the back. Hey, easy game one. <laughs> <laughs> Had some mulligan to four, but it's cool, it's cool. Slip out the back seems great in this deck. Okay, let's play some more.
so we got ley lines, but we got no, uh, I can't actually remember the name of the card again. Uh, mulligan, mulligan, fragment reality, that's what it's called. Okay, we can keep this. Um, mulliganing down to four again. Um, doesn't really matter which ley line we keep. Um, and again, I think I'll get rid of a land. Okay. Oops, I keep thinking I have to click on that. This could be an unfair deck. Yeah, I think we're going to see a big fat dragon here. <laughs> also against an unfair deck. And we lose the game on turn two. Okay. Touche opponent. I guess uh, we lost the die, the die roll in that game. We did get to do our thing, but it was too slow for the turn two Zeatora. Maybe I'll build that deck next. That deck looks pretty cool. Minion of the Mighty Zeatora combo. If you don't know how that works, uh, Minion of the Mighty is a 0-1 Kobold, I think. When it attacks, you may put a dragon with power less than or equal to its power into play tapped and attacking so they pump it up with two plus three spells they make it a six five or whatever it is and then they uh attack for six put Zeatura into play which is a six six that's 12 damage and then uh Zeatura can sack itself to deal another six damage uh, i'd taken two damage from my shock land Anyway, this is a keep. We get to keep a seven this time. I guess we'll put all the ley lines into play. <laughs> and then we will play Mana Confluence. And I think I'm going to get rid of the red ley line. There we go, turn one Geist. Can you beat it, opponent? Not with a 1 1 dog, I'll wager. Although that thing can get bigger pretty quickly. We do kind of need a way to give the Geist flying or something. We still get to attack. Opponents getting clocked in two turns. here but I can phase it out 
And then we have lethal attacks next turn. So now even Wrath of God doesn't stop us. What would stop me is, uh, what's it called, Settle the Wreckage. I'm going to take one of the Ley Lines, but that doesn't help them block a 4-4 Flyer, unfortunately. Hey, there's Griff's boon to give the Geist flying as well. Nice, let's keep it rolling. Opponent did a pretty good job of trying to stop me there. This deck seems really good for grinding gold in Historic, because the games are super quick. Okay, we have a great seven here. We have a turn one Geist with the Ley Lines. And we have ways to give it flying and make it draw cards. Seems good to me. Definitely gonna get rid of the Ley Line of Anticipation. As Ley Line of the Void has a lot more utility and historic, I would say. And we don't really care about our stuff having flash that much. Opponent's reading the card. Oh, we're up against a gate deck again, okay. Uh, sea Chrome Coast. Let's go Arcane Flight. And Combat Research. Attacking for eight. Drawing a card. <laughs> a card that we, we can never cast. Maybe we can cast it. But don't particularly want to. And our Geist is too big for Gates Ablaze as well. So let's just keep pumping it up so it definitely dodges the Gates Ablaze. And I think that's lethal. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't imagine this deck to be so busted. I knew it was going to have like the odd busted game, but every game we've had turn one Geist. I can imagine there's some games where you like mulligan to two. I guess you can't really... Mulligan past three because you wouldn't have the combo. I guess if you had a really good two that just needed one particular piece, you could keep like fragment land and hope to draw a lay. Oh no, drawing a ley line on turn one doesn't work, does it? Okay, this one's a mulligan because we got no fragment reality. This one's a mulligan, because we got no fragment reality. This one's a mulligan, because we got no fragment reality. This one's a mulligan, because we got no fragment reality. Uh, I think I have to keep now. Because we can't really go past three. So let's keep the ley lines in the land and hope to draw a fragment. Oh baby, never didn't have it. So which one of these do I want to keep? Um, this one, I think this one is worse because they're basically never going to target our stuff.
so I mulligan to three, kept a land and a ley line, and just drew the exact card that I need. That's pretty nice. One thing that card that can stop us is, uh, oh man, I wasn't going to say snap caster, but sure. So now we need to draw another fragment reality. Um, one card that can stop us is Blessed Alliance, makes you sack an attacking creature. So if they cast that in response to... In response to the angel creation trigger, we have to sack the ghost. I do not expect this game to go well. Opponents missing land drops, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Opponents seems to be playing like a control deck, but... Damn it. All these ley lines. I think more than half the deck is ley lines, so it's not that surprising. We could just hard cast a Geist if we draw it. Oh man. Yeah, I think that's gonna be game. They're gonna have... Uh, I guess we can give the Geist flying, right? Guys, to me! Guys, to me! So ley line of the void is probably better. Uh, you know what? I could have given their samurai flying and killed the wandering emperor, but that's fine. We're not going to win this game. It's like one percent to win or something. I'll maybe give it one more turn and then scoop. Remember your training. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that was a bad one. Snapcaster Mage good against the deck, apparently. Do one or two more games. I think our win rate's been pretty good so far. I could have scooped that one quite a bit earlier, really, but I kind of wanted to see how the deck performs casting its spells fairly, but we're pretty unlikely to draw one Geist out of, like, 48 cards or whatever it is. I suppose we could have drawn another Fragment Reality and... Okay, this is nice, this is nice, I like what I'm seeing. Put in the two ley lines. And then Hallowed Fountain. Fragments, I think this one. Ley line of Sanctity does protect against uh, sacrifice effects like Edicts, Liliana's Triumph, Shieldred's Edict, um, and the aforementioned uh, what was it called again? Blessed Alliance. Um, 
So they do have a reach creature. But I think we're going to be too big. Imagine Elves has a rough time against this deck. Oh, that's lethal, right? Yeah, they gave up. <laughs> nice. Nice quick game. I think this is my new favorite historic deck. I do want to try Gates with Spelunking. And I want to try some of the Quintorius decks too. I don't particularly like historic as a format. I think it's super busted and silly. So the only time I really want to play it is when I play decks like this. I used to play Elves a lot in historic, but it's just not very good anymore. Oh, shoot. I accidentally kept that without thinking. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we've got lands and spells. Resolve a Geist fairly. I don't feel great about this. It resolves. Nice. We have a surprising path to victory. I mean, we could get board wiped now, which kind of sucks. Um, oh, we have a slip out the back. Okay, that's great. well. So accidental fair game here. Let's see if we can win it. and then it goes away, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think they thought they would get the angel untapped. Do you have a board wipe opponent? Seems like they don't. We get to keep attacking. Let's pump up the Geist a little bit first. Deal one damage to them. Got a big fat Geist here. This deck's kind of like Boggles, but you get a Boggle that makes... A Boggle that makes a 4-4 that when it attacks. Yeah, they can exile that and gain two life, sure. I could slip out the back, but I don't really mind them gaining two life. I'd rather save, slip out the back for board wipes, etc. this one uh, and 
we get to kill that wandering emperor. Yeah, buddy! So we can actually get another Geist if they manage to kill this somehow. Oh, they're just dead. Cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah! Accidental fair game there and we absolutely smashed it. Alright, maybe one more game. I think you guys get the idea of the deck, but I'm having fun playing it, so why not carry on? I've got like 10 minutes to spare. can't keep this. We do not have a fragment reality. And same problem here. Okay, this is a keep. We will... I mean, ethereal armor seems kind of good. Definitely get rid of a ley line of anticipation. Yeah, let's get rid of the ethereal armor. I do want that. I mean, it's not going to matter, but... Okay, we get a load of ley lines. We are on the play. Uh, on the draw, I should say. Okay, we're up against a really fast burn deck that can probably block me. Um, I think I get rid of the red one. Uh, Let's get rid of the black one. Okay, so fragment reality does not get anything. could kind of use the fragment reality as a removal spell for their things and hope that they don't hit something flying. They're just gonna try and kill us. That's a lot of damage. So I guess I get rid of the eight. It's kind of crazy that they can outrace us with damage here. Oh, what? What? They didn't have a creature in their deck. What? So we're just um, honest to goodness racing now. If we don't find a way to pump up the Geist, we could be in trouble. Oh, they didn't have a creature that cost less than one. So that is actually just quite a good removal spell. Okay. So do they have any other... Does this help? I don't think I want to take damage here. So they basically need to have nothing. Damn it, they're on one life. Yeah, they need one instant or sorcery. Okay, they've got it. <laughs> GG opponent. 
Uh, okay, one more game, I think. Uh, let me just check. Okay, I think I've got time for one more game. I'd like to end it on a win. That was kind of cool, though. Opponent dealing that much damage to us. That, uh, is it prowess deck is busted, to be honest. This deck's really fun, though. I like it. If we were on the play, not the draw, we would have definitely won that last game. Okay, we do not have Fragment Reality, so that's a mulligan. Okay, this one's a keep. And I think I'll get rid of... Maybe just a land. <laughs> Let's fragment one of the Leyline of the Voids. against goblins. Uh, let's pump this guy up and attack. We've got a thick geist here. Yeah, you should absolutely block opponent. to tutor for Muxus. Okay, let's go Thick Geist. Attack for 14. I'm gonna block the 10, sure. They can't cast Muxus next turn unless they got some mad... mad thing in their hand. Oh, okay, they can. <laughs> they did have a mad thing in their hand. Okay, please whiff on Muxus. Uh, that's not a great hit because they don't have haste. Okie dokie. Although we may be dead next turn. We really need a way to give this Geist flying. Opponent might have us next turn. They've got Krenko. They've got the haste. That's a lot of damage. No! Alright, well, we are quickly learning that there's a lot of decks that are faster than us, or potentially faster than us, which is kind of crazy. Um, I still like the deck a lot. It's a good way to grind the ladder quickly. Let's do one more game. I really want to end this on a win. One's a mulligan, no turn one geist. This one's a mulligan, no turn one geist. This one's a mulligan, no turn one geist. 
This one has a turn one Geist. So let's get... I think I like keeping Arcane Flight, actually. Maybe. Although I kind of like... I don't know. Yeah, let's keep Arcane Flight. Or I could... Yeah, let's keep Arcane Flight. Okay. Spell Pierce kills us instantly. They don't have it, which is great. Okay, let's play this so we don't get blown out by Snapcaster again. Okay, they're countering that, that's fine. Doesn't stop the Geist. Kinda worried about shield Edicts here. Also worried about Snapcaster. Damn you, Snapcaster! Okay, opponent's down to eight, and we have absolutely nothing. Damn it! Okay, I'm just gonna scoop and do one more game. GG opponent. Yeah, Snapcaster kind of awesome against us. If that arcane flight resolved, we would have been okay. we cannot keep because there's no turn one geist. We also have no turn one geist. We got the turn one geist. I'm going to get rid of a land, I think. You know what? Let's keep the combat research and get rid of one of these ley lines. Uh -huh, opponent says snooze. They're doing the snooze emoji. Um, let's get rid of that one. Let's go combat research first, draw some cards. Almost lethal. Shield Rezidic does get us here. Hey, you got another win. Alright, that's the deck, guys. I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And have a great day.